That was last week. We were at the casino for my birthday. That was the last time we saw. Mary Francie says she's numb, still struggling to believe her 47-year-old son, David Francie, is gone. You don't think that it's going to happen to you. Both David and a friend of his, 27-year-old Richard Kelsey, were killed yesterday. Kelsey was shot outside his home on Sydney Road in Green Township around 4.15 in the morning. About 15 minutes later, Cincinnati police were called to an apartment on Georgia Avenue in Northside where David was shot. 23-year-old Mark Henderson of Delhi Township was arrested. Arraigned today on two counts of murder. His bond is set at $1.5 million. I'd have to know what made him take two people's lives within 15 minutes of each other. And I don't want to hear PTSD because he was in the service. I uh, don't want, you know, uh, insanity. No, this was this was planned. As family members wait for answers, Mary wants people to know her son was more than just another victim of gun violence. David was a son, brother and father of three. Oh, well, he's he was, he was a character. Smart, artistic and sometimes misjudged for his unique outer appearance. Underneath his hard shell, Mary says David was a gentle giant. Oh, his heart was as big as the world. You know, he could he could really tick people off, but in the long run, you know, he he would be there for them in a minute. Mary says her son loved his kids, animals, and playing the guitar. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting time after time. And I've also been in contact today with Rel Ricky Kelsey's mother. She said her son had a good heart. She says, you know, he wasn't perfect, but he had a very big heart, and he was the type of man that was always there for his friends. Reporting live tonight in Green Township, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, police made an arrest pretty quickly in these cases. Any idea what led them to Henderson? Well, you know, Cherie, shortly after the killings, Delhi police were called to a possible overdose at Henderson's home. And somehow at that point, they connected all the pieces. Of course, we don't know all the details yet, but we do know it was that call that made them tie Henderson to both murders. All right, Karen Johnson leading the way on this double murder tonight. Thanks so much. A West Claremont High School.